హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ మై నేమ్ ఈస్ వెంకటేష్ ఐఎమ్ అ డెవాప్స్ ఇంజనీర్ దిస్ ఇస్ డెవాప్స్ ప్రో జంక్షన్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి హౌ టు ఓవర్ రైట్ అ వేరియబుల్ యూజింగ్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ వేరియబుల్స్ ఐ ఎమ్ మేకింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వీడియోస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు క్లౌడ్ అండ్ డెవాప్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ లైక్ దిస్ వీడియో గివ్ థమ్స్ అప్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ యూ గివ్ యువర్ కమెంట్స్ ఇట్ విల్ బి ఎన్కరేజ్ మీ టు మేక్ మోర్ వీడియోస్ ఆన్ మోర్ టాపిక్ డియర్ సబ్స్క్రైబర్స్ ఐ ఎమ్ అవైలబుల్ on linkedin you can easily connect to me with linkedin and also i am available with topmate so you can reach out to me topmate for any like a your job transformation from cloud into devops or you have any queries regarding that you can reach out to me using quick chat interview tips and preparations resume reviews one on one mentorship i am always available and happy to help you so let's uh, dive into today topic in this topic we are going to see like uh, how to overwrite the variable i made uh, videos related to variables you can see in my playlist if you not watch those one you can watch it earlier so that you can understand these videos in this video we will see variables overwrite with environment variables let's see how we can make this we have to export the values which you are going to use as a environment variable so that's what we are going to do here how to do that to do that you have to do export command so in this scenario i am going to use linux machine if you are using with windows machine there is a different option to do export those variables which means to set environment variables there is a different option with windows but here i am going to use linux machine for this demo let's see the demo here i have the linux machine and this i have few directories in one of the directory i have the file so which says like main.tf which is related to the security groups and one ec2 instance it will create and then we have like a provider.tf file and like a variables.tf file in this variable.tf file i have the variable blocks there are four variables i have with my script so in this script you can see that ec2 instance type i am using for t2.micro so to see the environment variables we can use the command print env by that way you can see what are the environment variables or with your local system in my linux machine these are all the environment variables still now i did not set any environment variable to set the environment variable you have to do export command using export tf underscore var use your environment variable and name so here i am going to use one of the variable name called ec2 instance type so ec2 underscore instance underscore type so i'm going to set it to as t2.small so this one is done next i'm going to execute the terraform plan so you can see here two security groups and one ec2 instance is going to create and the ec2 instance which is going to create on t2small because i have heard the environment variable value which is on t2small that's why i'm getting but in my script it shows like a t2 micro only so like this you can overwrite the variables value for one more demo i am going to show for this ec2 instance count export i am going to give the value as 3 so in my script it is showing like a one so by giving enter now it's set into environment variable to see your environment variable you can use print env command you can see here i have already set a tf or ec2 instance count which is the value of 3 and here this is the value of t2.small let's do the plan so i will get total three instance and two security groups that why i am getting total five resources here you can see here t2 dot small and it going to create 0 1 2 instances so like this you can overwrite your environment variable with your configuration script i hope this video is helpful if you find this video is helpful give thumbs up subscribe my channel follow for the more videos thanks for watching